How weird does this look? I'm drinking from my purse. Dorothy Doreen! Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Dorothy Doreen and here on my channel I like to talk about adulting which I define as pretending to know what you're doing but really having no idea. And the best part is that you don't have to go through it alone and neither do I because we are all on this lovely journey together. So subscribe if you want to see more of that. And in today's video, I bought something and share that lovely experience with you. Have you tried the aqua purse yourself? If you have, comment down below because I'd love to know your opinion and hear other people's experiences with this lovely contraption. <laughs> so basically, if you did not know, on Instagram there are ads that are sent to you or are shown on your newsfeed based on the accounts that you follow and it's also related to the things that you like and look at on Facebook. Somehow, some way, this product showed up on my feed and I saw in the caption it said, use this code and buy it before the end of the night to get 50% off. Then I started looking and seeing that there are different colors and different styles and I'm like, oh crap, I'm getting interested, I'm getting intrigued, and I bought it. <laughs> As you can see in the title, I am talking about the aqua purse. <laughs> if you don't know what the aqua purse is, it's basically a water bottle with a compartment or like this leather pouch attached and it's basically a purse water bottle. <laughs> I just thought it was funny because I always carry a water bottle with me and it's pretty bulky. It's hard if I just want to carry a couple of things. It is the hugest first world problem. These aqua purses originally retail for like $70 minimum. And I was like, there is no way I'm going to buy this for $70. But because there was a good discount, I was like, okay, you know what? Let's just see what this thing is about and if it's worth it. So anyways, I think I got it for around like $40, which is still really dumb because I would not even buy a purse for $40 like at the mall or at the thrift store. <laughs> Okay, so this is the Aqua Purse packaging. They call it handbag hydration. You're never going to be thirsty again. <laughs> and of course, this is made in China. Where else would it be made? I actually got it in the rose color. Okay, okay. Oh, no, the strap. Nice. There's a strap because it's a purse. Like a hanging purse. The one thing I will have to say that's cool about this is that it's BPA free. And this just makes me laugh. <laughs> this is so funny. Like, it's a purse. It smells like Aldo and Ardennes. <laughs> Which just screams like made in China and stuff that might fall apart after a year or a couple months. So far it's cool. I mean, on the inside it's orange. Not a big fan of orange, but you can't really see it from there. You can actually take these off with Velcro. <laughs> That's really loud. If you want to use a different pouch or purse, on their website they actually offer separate ones um, that you can mix and match so that's how they are customizable, that's how they claim to be customizable. It has this little piece of plastic, lovely. It has this hole, these holes here for the strap. My only worry is that like when it comes to straps like these that are so cheap, like that it's gonna fall apart because I mean, it probably will, especially these, because once these snap, that's it. It's nice and long, but it's not adjustable. Okay. It's. I thought it would have that little, like, adjustable thing here where you can make the strap longer or shorter, but it doesn't. So, this is what it looks like. It's really thin. See how this turns around? That way, if your bag is flipping around or something, your strap doesn't get flipped. Anyway, it's just a little detail that I appreciate. That's kind of cute, right? I think it looks cool, but now for the big test. This is supposed to be a water bottle. And... Okay. It doesn't smell like out of the ordinary plastic. Which is good. I don't know why I keep smelling it. Like, you know how sometimes plastic bottles just smell weird? All I keep smelling is this thing. This 
fake leather pouch thing, but I think it's kind of cool. Obviously, if you're washing the dishes, you're gonna take this off. So I think now is the time to wash this, fill it up, and see if it works or see how practical it is. Okay, so I just rinsed it with soap and everything, and now I filled it with water. <laughs> Aqua purses actually hold about 700 milliliters of water, which is almost a liter. Duh. <laughs> I think it's pretty cool because I had a bottle that was 700 milliliters before and it was huge and really bulky and hard to carry around. Now I'm gonna drink from it. How weird does this look? I'm drinking from my purse. Tastes normal. <laughs> I think it's just funny. It's like a purse flask. I can see this being used some other ways that I would not use. <laughs> but I mean, I think it's kind of cool. Oh, hey, this is my aqua purse with water in it. Hey, are you thirsty? Because I got the goods. I think the true test will be when I actually go out. So I'm actually going out tonight for a couple of hours and we shall see if this sustains itself. I think the strap seems pretty sturdy for now. After some good old Dorothy care and usage, the strap might fall apart, but so far it's okay. And luckily it can be replaced by other purse straps that you might have. Overall, I'm liking the Aqua purse, but we shall see later tonight if it will hold up and still hold as practical. When you're walking and there's water inside, you can hear like the, like you hear the splashing of the water. And so, I mean, if it's really quiet, then it's pretty loud. <laughs> Obviously, you can't fit a lot in here. I would have brought like my phone and my license and my debit and my visa, but it can actually only fit two cards in there comfortably. It's not the most convenient space holder if you want to bring more than literally like your phone. Even my lip balm and my phone don't fit in here comfortably. But it is kind of convenient. The Aqua Purse is not too bad. I definitely think it is practical to have your hands free, but you are not able to fit much in the pouch itself and maybe a maximum of like four cards. That is probably the most that you can fit in the pouch. If you want to fit your lip balm in there, it would be like your lip balm and two cards. So the pouch is very small, not very practical in that sense. Again, there is that swooshing sound of the water that happens when you're walking by. And I find that because the strap is kind of thin and flimsy, it does fall off my shoulder a lot. But I do have to admit, it is kind of convenient. And if you don't carry a lot of things with you and you have pockets for your keys or your phone or other small things, then it's definitely worth checking out. If you saw in the beginning of the video, you can go onto their website and sign up for their email list where they will give you a certain percentage off of your first purchase within 12 hours of receiving that discount code. So if you're interested in trying out the Aqua Purse, that might be a nice way to save a little bit of money. Um, other than that, do I recommend it for the price? Definitely not. I think it is way too overpriced at regular price and even at the discounted price that I got it at, which was like about $40, it's just not worth it. Unless I know it's completely good quality or if it's you know made in Canada and it's a small business kind of thing, then I will be willing to spend more money for those in comparison with other things that you could buy. It's not worth $40. <laughs> so anyways, that's it for my review of the Aqua Purse and my unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And hopefully it will help you to not buy things that you kind of don't really believe in. <laughs> I do have a video that talks about supporting small businesses and though Aquapurse may be a small business in theory, I explain a little bit more about what local and small businesses have and why they are worth supporting. So you can go ahead and check that video out. I do try to post videos every week so be sure to subscribe if you like this one and hope to see you in the next video. I forgot how to open the door. <laughs> been a month since I filmed the first part of the video <laughs> and can you put your hand in the strap please? My hand? Yeah, in the strap of the camera. Oh. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs>